temperatures are rising, the flowers are blooming, and it is time for high school sports once again in the Nutmeg State. Hi everybody, I'm Braden Shank and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the 2022 Spring Campaign. The Blue Wave Boys Lacrosse team is looking to once again make a statement. Last season they won the FCAC title but lost in the state tournament to Fairfield Prep. Darien lost some key players to graduation but the roster is loaded with talent and the schedule is loaded with some strong teams. I feel like when we play better teams we'll be more prepared. and. I feel like playing these teams from Long Island will especially prepare us for FCX and States and we still got still lost to press, prep last year so still got something to prove. The expectation for the lacrosse team is always to end in a pile when FCX win States but uh, I think for this year's group I think we see that we have a lot of talent. But we have a lot of returning guys obviously that's what's going to happen and then for the people that graduate we'll have spots to fill like our goalie uh, that's always how that's always what the case is. Lisa Lindley returns for her 27th season as the Darien girls lacrosse head coach. Much like the boys team, the girls team figures to once again be a force not only in the FCAC but the state as well. The team returns five all FCAC first teamers from a season ago, including a veteran group of seniors leading the charge. You know, we've been working really hard. We had a tough preseason, a tough couple days of tryouts, but our team looks great. It's definitely young, but you know, everyone's stepping up to the plate and playing great. Um, I think the expectations are to just beat the teams that are out of state because last um, year we only got to play FCAC teams um, and we haven't been able to play these out of state teams since freshman year. We are a junior senior filled team so all the girls that are on the team right now they're they have a lot of experience where last year we lacked experience and especially with the harder games this season I think that's going to be like very key in all of our victories. It's now time to shift our attention to the diamond with DAF Media's Peter McLean with more on the Darien baseball and softball programs. After an underwhelming 4-13 regular season, the Darien High School baseball team snuck into the FCAC playoffs as a 14 seed. The Wave would then pull off massive upsets against three-seeded Staples and six-seeded West Hill before falling to Fairfield Ward in the conference semifinal. Darien will look to carry on that momentum into this season, and led by veteran head coach Mike Scott and a group of seniors, they are once again poised to contend for a conference title. After last year we had a tough season, but we made the run in the playoffs. We proved we can do something, and we've got a great coaching staff, a lot of great players here, and uh, you know we can win an FCAC championship. I can tell it's a great group of guys. You know We had a great week at pitchers and catchers. We got a lot of arms coming back, uh, a lot of experience, and... Uh, we're looking forward to uh, get off to a good start. We have that goal and we know we can be, uh, make it there. So that's that's ultimately the goal is to get back there, or maybe even hopefully even farther. On the other diamond at the high school, the Darien softball team will look to regain the success it had in 2017, where they won both an FCAC regular season and postseason title. The Blue Wave finished 10 and 7 last year, going 9 and 6 in conference play. It was the Wave's first time finishing above 500 since that magical 2017 season. The girls are confident they can make some noise this season. Especially riding off of the better season that we had last year, I think everyone's really excited to see if we can kind of continue that upwards arc that we started um, and just try and have a really great year. We had a pretty good run last year, and now we have some extra help in pitching and in the outfield, which will help us a lot. Uh, our seniors and our juniors, although they're like, there's only a few of us, we have a lot of experience both in high school and outside of high school, so it's going to be a good year. That's all from the Diamonds. Braden, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Peter. The Darien boys and girls tennis teams look to continue their success on the court this season. Last season, the boys team won the Class L state title, beating Wilson in the finals. This season, under first-year coach John Day Filippo, Darien looks to continue its recent success of the program, aiming for a third straight FCAC championship and a third straight state championship. And obviously the new coach has a lot of plans for like new ideas and new strategies to get us through the season. I'm just looking forward to having a good season. Our plans are definitely to be competitive in the playoffs for FCAC and states, and we hope to maybe do a three-peat this year. The girls team won an FCAC title a season ago. This season, the program has seen an influx of young, talented players to go along with a solid group of upperclassmen. I think we're expecting to get pretty far into FCAC this year. We have a great team, some awesome new younger players, and we're really looking forward to it. 
I think we can go pretty far considering our singles lines are always very deep. Um, this year too with doubles, I think we're going to do very well. Even if you're playing your individual match, you have the whole team standing behind um, the fence cheering you on um, regardless of how you're doing. Um, so you know that the people next to you are cheering you on and the people behind the fence. Longtime head coach Lori LaRusso has built the Blue Wave Boys Volleyball Program into one of the state's best. Darianne went undefeated last season, bringing home their fifth FCAC title in the past six seasons, in addition to their fourth state title in school history. Expectations are once again high this season. And one thing that we actually put on our board for goals is to get 1% better each day. And that's what we're striving to do each day is to get 1% better, because if you don't get 1% better, or even 2 or 3% better each day, then we're not really going to learn. We try to rally behind Coach because she's a great coach and um, she's coached many years here and uh, she's really experienced so we just try to rally behind her. Some of the goals we have this year are pretty simple like we want to win everything, we want to win the state championship, go undefeated like we did last season. But some of the goals we have are to become a better team family and kind of um, be able to just A, get better at the sport and become better people as well. The Darien Rugby program has enjoyed some recent success. Despite only playing in four varsity matches last season, the boys went 3-1. and one. This season, Darian has a strong schedule and once again will play their home matches at the Royal Elementary School. We're looking forward to a great season ahead of us. Last, we have five more games scheduled, three home games, so we're looking forward to it, seeing what, what's the best outlook for us. We have a lot of new incoming freshmen that are really talented, so I think that's going to take us pretty far. We're hoping to win a lot of games this year. And for the second time in nearly 10 years, Darianne's girls rugby team will once again hit the pitch this spring. Playing as a club team under the direction of veteran coach Mark Stepsis, the girls look to make a big impact. There's plenty of optimism surrounding the Darianne boys and girls track and field teams, and for good reason. The girls finished 7th last year at the state meet, while the boys finished 16th. And both teams have some talented and experienced athletes competing this spring. We're really a supportive team and we cheer each other on and I think we can be really successful. We have a great 4x4 team and hopefully a 4x100 team that will do really well. I think we're a really tight-knit group. Uh, everyone knows the role and I think we have a lot of leaders that can really mentor the new runners or new jumpers. And everybody wants to get better and they, everyone just tries their hardest and I think that this season's looking really good and everybody's improving so I can't wait to see how it's going to go. I think one of the beautiful things about track is that because there are so many different events you can do and there's a lot of splitting up and trying different things, everybody finds something that they really love, which I think makes the sport unique. And um, it's great new talent coming in, especially from indoor, a lot of promise. And now to ex get to expand that and actually compete with dual meets, we definitely um, are setting our standards high. I think we have a lot of good runners in every group and I also think our team dynamic this year is better than it has been in any other year personally I think. Um, I think we have a really strong just kind of support system within our team and really just pushing each other always to do better. Last year we had a pretty good season hoping to do the same this year. We've got a lot of returning seniors. Um, I think a strong suit is definitely our mid-distance. With the move of boys golf to the fall season, the Darien girls golf team will be the only team hitting the links this spring. The girls hope to swing their way into the state championship at Toshua Knowles in early June. The Darien Sailing Team hits the waves again this spring. The Blue Wave will compete in the Fairfield County Sailing League. I think we're definitely getting a change with more focus on uh, technique and skill work and boat handling and really perfecting our uh, boats, uh, sailing and boatsmanship. We hope you've enjoyed this DAF Media Special. I've been Braden Shank, and we thank you for watching.